Sunday, September 25th, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, just want to make a video about the technical uh, picture for gold and silver. Um, you know, after the Fed came out on Wednesday and left rates unchanged, gold and silver rallied well. And on Thursday and Friday, they were kind of kept down, which was frustrating. The high of the week was around 1345, just thereabouts. And we closed the week, uh, the uh, Project A or Globex closed at 6 p.m. New York time, the futures, closed around 1337.70. But I'd like to talk about, before I get into the uh, charts, uh, the f I, I, I'm going to talk about the LBMA uh, PM fix for gold. I think that's a good way to look at, you know, the what physical gold has done. I know the LBMA, they're highly leveraged and a lot of people think it's a paper market as well. But globally, it's an important market to the, the LBMA here in London. So on the 16th of September, which was the previous week, the previous Friday, gold, the PM fix was 1308.35. And the PM fix uh, on Friday, the 23rd, was 1338.65. So gold was up over $30 or 2.31%. So yes, it was frustrating that gold didn't rally further after uh, you know Wednesday, but it still did very well. Silver, the uh, LBMA fixing, there's only one fixing every day for silver. On the 16th of September, that was 1891. Uh, on the 23rd, this Friday, it was 1982. So that was up almost 5% silver, you know, 4.81%. So all in all, it was a very good week for precious metals. Uh, Bitcoin has been treading water, you know, around 600. Uh, this afternoon, it's a little bit below 600. Uh, and I'll, I'll come to Bitcoin later. So now... Uh, to gold and the chart. You can see here there's a trend line coming uh, down in this chart and that's taking the high of September 2011 at 1921 and the high of October 2012 which is also the high in 2012 at 1796. You can see this line has really been like defended it looks like we closed last last week just above it. Uh, I think it was coming around 1335. We closed at 1337. But this line is going down. So if we stay above 1330, 1335 area, they'll have, you know, the powers that be, the bullion banks, the central banks, they'll have more difficulty keeping... Uh, gold from breaking through that trend line, which is a massive trend line coming from from the all time high. And I think they must be watching this. And the channel looks, uh, you know, like we held the bottom of the channel, this upward channel coming since the beginning of the year. So it all looks fairly positive still gold, in my opinion, still the high of the year 1375 earlier this year and then we have 1392 which was the high of 2014 so those are key levels so moving on to uh, silver now uh, chart of silver what caught my attention this weekly chart is that we we've building this uh, bull flag uh, in silver and right now next week if we stay above 20 and close above 20 that will constitute kind of a breakout of that flag as you can see we've been trading within that flag uh, last week uh, we didn't manage to close above that uh, we we would have had to uh, close above 20 support in silver still I think 1849 which is the high of 2015 and what if we do 
break through the top of that flag. That next target will be the uh, high earlier this year of 21, around 21, 15, 14. And then it's off to the races. Still think it looks fairly positive. And now uh, to Bitcoin. Uh, not much to say about Bitcoin. You can see the chart here. It's still upward trend. Uh, you know, this uh, weekly chart from almost a year, uh, you know, chart. Uh, that trend line is still holding comfortably and right now it looks like we're just in a trend between like let's say 630 and 570 those are the key levels that trend line comes around 550 and I've looked at some longer term charts uh, of Bitcoin and I I cannot get access to it but I can tell you it's Bitcoin looks to be forming a, a rounding bottom, which is like a like a T cup and handle uh, formation with the and that's quite positive as well longer term. So that's it. Uh, gold, silver and Bitcoin technicals. If you enjoy my videos, please like uh, share them and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel, there's three links below in the description, a few links below in the description with, uh, you know, instructions uh, if you'd like to donate. Thank you. Bye.